Hi boys, look what I've got for you tonight. I think you probably know the story, but I don't think I've read it to you. But anyway, I hope you like it. It's called Picasso, the Green Tree Frog. Let's see what, it's a very old book, so bear with me because the pages are all a little bit old now. How's that? Picasso was a very clever green tree frog. He could change colour by jumping from here to there and there to here and back again. There he is. After the insects. Picasso could plop into a muddy puddle and turn brown certainly does there, doesn't he? He could dive into a deep, cool pool and turn blue. And bounce back up into his tree to turn green again. Very clever. But one day, something went wrong. He jumps and jumps. And Picasso landed in a jar of jelly beans and turned all sorts of colours. Oh my, he sure did. He quite enjoyed being multicoloured for a while. Started to look at all his different colours there, didn't he? But when he bounced back up into his tree, he did not turn green. Oh dear. He slipped into the lime green slime, but still he did not turn green. You see him there? Didn't turn green at all, did he? He wallowed in the watery weeds and reeds, but still he did not turn green. There was no way it seemed to become green again. There he is. Looked a bit worried. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Picasso jumped back to the jelly bean jar and he sighed <sighs> and sampled a pink jelly bean and thought of what next to do. And as he ate another pink jelly bean, he noticed something strange. Hmm. His pink spots had disappeared. Picasso ate more jelly beans. Blue, red, yellow, purple, every colour except green, of course. Mm. At last, he was himself again, a green tree frog. There he is. He looks so happy. Uh-oh. What's that? On his bottom, he's still got all the different colours of the rainbow. <laughs> Good old Picasso. And that's the end of the story. Picasso, the green tree frog. I hope you liked it. I do. It's one of my favourites. And Nana will be over to see you again soon. Love you.